Hi everyone, it's Megan with AboveRubyStudio.com and today I'm going to show you some glue foil. I showed this on another video recently, but I'm gonna show it again and I'm gonna show it on making a custom picture frame, something beautiful and fun for home decor. I just picked up a $1 picture frame from Michaels and we're going to paint it and then I'm gonna show you how to cut out an image with your Cricut. Okay, so we're back with my black glue foil all loaded onto my Cricut mat. My picture frame is dry. I'm just gonna set this aside and we'll move my Cricut into view here. I have my new Serenade cartridge loaded in. This came with my red Cricut expression that my husband bought for me, I'm so lucky. And I was going to do this little branch flower here. So what I'm going to do is turn off my portrait mode, load in my paper, and I'm going to scroll to the top corner of my glue foil here. I have my blade set at five, my speed on three, and my pressure on maximum. And I'm just going to select the branch of my choice, the flowers of my choice here. These right here. Make sure they come up correctly in my screen the way I want them to. Perfect. I'm going to leave them on, I'm going to go to four and a quarter inches and I'm going to press, I'm gonna, you know what, I'm just, to be safe, I'm going to go down to low, just to be safe with a in, more intricate cut. I'm going to press cut. Okay, so that's finished and I'm going to go down to three and three quarters and I'm going to cut out this little flower here, which is uh -oh, right here. I'm um, unloading and I cut out a total of three images. I cut out a fern and then a flowery stem and then a branch. Okay, so there's my three. As you can see, these pieces just cut out brilliantly with the Cricut. I mean, this is foil and it, they're relatively very clean edges and as soon as we adhere it down, they're really gonna smooth out and just be beautiful. This, again, this glue foil is from Struder, um, Struder.com. You can go and purchase it, but this is, isn't that beautiful? Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and adhere these down and I'm gonna show you real quickly and simply how to do that. I have my heat gun. You can also use a mini heat iron, a regular iron on a medium setting. I'm just gonna turn it on. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna heat up my foil in the position that I want it in. I'm going to press it down. It's very hot, so be careful. I'm just going to press it down with a cloth or a paper towel. And there it is, adhered down. It's just a little bit of heat and pressure. Now I can go ahead and remove this later by just apl applying some more heat and the glue will be broken down by the heat again and will remove from my image. So let's go ahead and do this one in this corner here. I'm gonna heat that down just to make sure it stays. And again, touching it with a, a rag or something that you're not gonna burn yourself on the foil. But isn't that just beautiful? And then I can add something with a little bit of color right here, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add a little bit of pink going up right here. So let me just show you how I'm gonna cut out one more flower in pink just to add a little pop of accent color. And it's just the flower on flip and I'm gonna just heat it up the same way as the black. And remember not to touch it because it's really hot. <laughs> 
there you go there is our foil on our picture frame isn't that beautiful it just shimmers and shines and gives a whole new there you have it i hope you enjoyed and again this is from struder.com and have a great day bye